What's up, guys? This is Zerpal Eeple here. Um, so I was asked on the Glitch Hop forum by Dubzilla to do some sort of a video on mixing. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to give you guys a quick little uh, tutorial that'll help out your mixing. So I'm sure all of you uh, pan your instruments in your mix. Uh, if not, you definitely should. Um, and so what I'm going to talk to you today about is how Ableton does not actually have any pan pots. Uh, I know these look like pan pots, but they're not. And I'm gonna show you how to actually pan um, your stereo image. Uh, so let's go through that really, really quick. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go over to Logic. Don't get too uh, frightened if you're an Ableton user. I'm just using this as uh, demonstration purposes. It's definitely still an Ableton tutorial. Um, but over in Logic here, I've created a, a mono track and I've also created um, a stereo track. Now, if I have a, a mono track, <clears throat> let's, um, let me see, I'm gonna put a, a test oscillator on here. And you get this uh, annoying high-pitched tone. Let's make that maybe a little less annoying. Um, and if I pan, it's gonna pan my stereo image, you know, between my left and my right speaker. Now, if I try and do this on a stereo track, that doesn't actually happen. Um, what actually happens is um, when I turn a, a pan pot that's on a stereo track, left or right, it balances um, how much of the left signal information I have um, compared to how much of the right signal information I have. And so I created a little stereo file here to really demonstrate this. Um, and what it is, is it's two test signals. I have a 100 hertz tone in my left speaker, or in the left channel, and I have a 500 hertz tone in the right channel. So now uh, I'll play this on a loop. So if I'm playing this, um, and I pan this um, hard, hard right, what happens is I completely lose the left part of the signal. It, it doesn't get moved to the right speaker like a pan should do. It completely loses the signal. And if I move to the left, I get only that low test tone and I completely lose the right portion. Now, Logic's way around this is to give um, a plugin called Direction Mixer. And what this allows you to do is if I go left, I don't actually lose the other part of my stereo image. It just gets shifted over. Um, so it accurately portrays moving that stereo sounds image completely. Um, now you might be wondering why is this important? What relevance does it have to Ableton Live? Well, it's important because um, I'll give you a, a quick example. If a, if a piano is being mic'd, you have multiple microphones on the piano, at least two. Um, one would be, you know, let's say in a two mic situation, one would be on the left side of the piano. Uh, let's say it's a grand piano and the other would be on the right side. Um, and because of the way the keys are situated, you would have um, more low frequency piano notes in one microphone more than the other. In that case, if I suddenly um, was panning my piano, I said, well, I kind of want my piano to be on the left side of my stage and on the right side of my stage. Um, then by panning it left with a stereo pan pot, I would suddenly lose all the high frequency elements in the piano. Um, and this has a lot of implications in other areas as well where you can get phase conflict um, from things not really being panned correctly and definitely from uh, losing a sense of naturalness in the music. So if I go back into Ableton Live um, and I test out the exact same um, test track, what I notice is the exact same thing happens. Oops. <laughs> and notice the exact same thing happens. Where this is not a pan pot. And so you might be wondering why I said that Ableton has no pan pots. And it's because Ableton is, consists of 100% stereo tracks. And every single pan pot is a stereo balance control. It's not a pan pot. So if I want to pan something, you would think that Ableton, you know, like Logic, might actually give me a tool to do that, but surprisingly it doesn't. I thought, you know, maybe Utility could do this, um, but <laughs> Utility uh, 
does the exact same thing, which makes you wonder why the hell they even put a pan pot on it. Because it's not even a pan pot. It's another stereo balance control. Um, so I went hunting because I wanted to solve this problem for you guys. Um, I know a lot of you use Ableton. And it's really important to be able to accurately pan your stereo instruments uh, in your mix. Um, and so I found this tool. Let me pull up the website. Um, it's by Flux. Um, it's called the Complete Stereo Imaging Analysis Tool. It's totally free. Um, the unfortunate thing is I'm sure you might be able to tell here is that I'm using Ableton 8. And the reason why is because it's only in 32-bit. Um, and I couldn't find an accurate plugin in 64-bit. Uh, I found some, I found one plugin that was in 64-bit that I couldn't get able to 9 to recognize at all. So if you guys can find a 64-bit plugin that does this, uh, you're awesome and you should definitely comment about it. But for now, we'll open this up and you can see now if I pan in this stereo tool, like the direction mixer, in Logic, if I pan left or right, I don't completely lose either side of the stereo image. It simply gets shifted. So try that out. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, I've just started messing around with this, to be honest. I, um, while I still use Ableton for some creative uh, purposes, I tend to do my mixing in Logic and... Uh, uh, that really has for me to do with the fact that I can uh, utilize mono tracks, which I think is really important for maintaining um, uh, punch and clarity in your drums. And um, and I also like that it has a very accurate direction mixer built in, um, among other things. But you know, if you use Ableton, um, you got to be able to pan correctly because um, you could have a bass. You know, if you're making a lot of glitch hop that has a chorus effect on it. And uh, if you try to pan it, um, you know, left or uh, right with the stereo balance control, um, it might sound a little funny at times. You know, if you have more high frequencies in the right side of the signal than the left, um, you know, it just, it's not going to sound like that bass sound or that synthesizer sound is actually moving from your left to your right speaker because the um, frequency content and the phase um, relationship uh, maybe changing the whole time that you're panning. So it doesn't really uh, come across as well. But um, using something like this is great. Um, and if you have another way that you do this, go ahead and put it in the comments section. I'd love to hear from you guys. I hope this helped out. Uh, let me know what kind of video you want me to do next. Peace. Awesome.